Hi guys, today I want to share you three ways to filter the subgrid in Dynamic 365. So the first way, um, the first way we is we use the the out of box feature. It's a added filter criteria in the view. So let me show you. Okay, this is the uh, the view uh, custom page. So. You can see there an option for the added filter criteria. So you can click here, so they can set up all the required uh, conditions. So you can select the columns or fields uh, related, and also set up the conditions. But here you can see uh, the condition value, it has to be a fixed value. So it, sometimes it's not convenient, because if, for example, if you want uh, you want this for for example, you want this fields equals uh, some other fields value. So this way will not work. Then in this case, you can use the second way. It's JavaScript. The JavaScript uh, in JavaScript way, uh, the key the key step is we, you know. Uh, okay, let me show you this one firstly. Let's show, give me one second. Okay, for example, this is a subgrid. So this subgrid uh, look, uh, reside in this tab. So for this tab, there there is a feature, it's state of change. Uh, it's event, state of change. So what is state of change? For example, if you click this uh, tab's name, click this tab, so this will trigger the state of change callback function. So what we need to do is we register a callback function. Uh, yeah, here we just register a callback function for the uh, for this tab's state of change. So when the state of, when the tab says state of change, that means when you click the, the, uh, this tab, it will trigger this function. In this function, we will call this API. It's it's uh, for this subgrid. We set the filter XML. Yeah, this XML is fetch fetch XML. You can create this fetch uh, fetch XML through the uh, X, XRM tool box or uh, advanced find so but you need you need to know this filter is uh, works on the uh, the system uh, worked on the first uh, first solution for example if you set some filter in this view then the javascript will be the second layer so it will um yeah it will uh, work uh, it will work on the same time yeah so let me show you an example, a sample code for, for this one, for the JavaScript. Firstly, we need to register this callback function for the tabs, uh, tabs uh, the standard change uh, event. So I just uh, put this regi registration in the uh, forms onload uh, function. So when the form is onload, it will trigger this one. You know uh, how to do that, right? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, in this callback function, we need to do is firstly we uh, so here I my condition is this field value must be the other another field's value. So this field locates uh, in in this form in the current form. So firstly, I I need to get this I need to get this uh, field's value. Then I just put this. Uh, field value in the condition, but here, just remember, if you want to get the the variables value, you have to use uh, the single quote, double quote, then followed by a uh, plus, then uh, end with plus double quote and single quote. Then you can get the value of this variable. So yeah. Uh, that's it. Just set. Just remember set the uh, this fetch mail to to this subgrid. The refresh. Yeah, that's it. So this is the second way. But sometimes the 
if you if we, we may have some advanced requirement or more complicated uh, requirement for example so this is a subgrade give me one second mm, the system is slow okay mm. okay in this in this subgrade so the user just want to show for you can see there are several uh, subject there are three subject so the uh, the user just want to show the latest one the latest one is based on the uh, the creation the create on the create on date and time so for example for for, for this user uh, it has uh, this uh, 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 around around eight records, but the user won't show this subject's latest uh, record only. That means for each subject, for each subject, the user just want to show the latest one only. So that means you need to put another another uh, high levels or another uh, filter to do this. So at this moment, the JavaScript um, doesn't work for, for this uh, requirement. So we have to f use the more flexible, more uh, advanced way, that is the uh, plugin. So for the plugin, uh, we, we just register for the message is retrieve multiple. You know, for the uh, subgrid onload uh, uh, operation, it's always uh, related to the message retrieve multiple, right? And the primary entity is is just a, it's just this uh, subgrid entity. And here, just remember we need to set uh, the stage to post operation because we will modify the uh, uh, query res result for example if you uh, you have set the uh, the, the views uh, filter right you have uh, created some javascript but that doesn't work because you get the uh, the result cannot uh, filter the latest one the only keep the on latest only but you uh, but you still are uh, get some uh, query re result. So we just use plugin to do the last filter. That means we just uh, capture cap in the post operation. We just capture this query result. Then we do some modification. Then just return this mod modified result to the form. Then it will show what you want, right? Okay, so here just remember it's post operation and synchronize, uh, synchronous, and just retrieve all, uh, retrieve multiple. Yeah, that's it. So next, let me show you the uh, uh, sample for for the uh, code. Okay, so this is plugin. Uh, this is uh, sample. So firstly, we need to uh, to check. Okay, here the thing. Um, so how do you know um for for this for this uh, entities okay let's uh, let me start from this one so this plugin will be triggered for for this entities retrieve multiple action but you know uh there are many other more um many other uh uh scenarios it will trigger uh, this entities um, retrieve multiple uh, action, right? For example, if you want to see uh, this uh, entities uh, the list, right? It's just, uh, it, you know, there's so many uh, scenarios it will trigger, it will do the retrieve, uh, retrieve multiple operation. So we need to ident identify the scenario or identify the retrieve multiple comes from uh, 
this form, come from this form, only in this form, will be triggered this plugin. For other uh, scenarios, we, we, uh, the user doesn't need, uh, the result has to be the latest one only, right? So how to determine, you know, when, when the, uh, when the plugin is triggered, there's, uh, there's no, uh, there's no fields. I mean, there are no fields of in, in this, uh, in, in the parent entities, uh, will be passed in, into this, uh, will be passed into this, uh, query or retrieve. So how to determine this retrieve is from this form. So the, uh, the, the only, I think, um, in my sample, in my example, I just use the, the, uh, attribute. The attribute just comes from the view, the view. So give me a second. Let me show you the view. Okay. The view, you can see here, the columns, the columns here, all these columns will be, um, will be passed to the, uh, uh, to to the uh, query, right? All these filters, all, all this, uh, oh, sorry, all these attributes will be passed to uh, in in the query request, right? So also it will be uh, bring back in the query result. So I just determine, I, I just check in this view. You know, this view is only for it's only works for this forms this subgrid. So it's a specified view, it's not general view. So in this view, I just uh, add one more column. It's latest only. So in the in the uh, a query result, I will check if this column is included in this query. If it's included in, the, in this query, so I I will I can determine. Okay, this query comes from this form yeah that's the my uh my way to determine this um uh, this uh, scenario so i will check if this column is uh included and I, I don't care this column's value is is whatever but i just i just make sure this column is included in the in this view that means in the future if you uh, if the user uh, want some uh, 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 view want to show the uh, latest only he just need to add the the, the column for uh, for 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 this one for the latest uh, for the latest only yeah that's it so in my code I will okay I will determine I will check if if this column is included in the query. Uh, this is uh yeah then i will get um so here i will get the uh the any uh, the subject the subject because you know all the filters will determine um just based on the field, uh, subject we we need to find the latest records for each subject right so i need to get the, the subject then um i will get i will uh try to find uh, the the biggest one you can see i'll just order by descending and find the first one that means find the latest one based on the create on um, column just in, in this result then i will create a new result this new result is uh, this one is modified result so it, this is a new one I just uh, find uh, the uh, satisfied records. That means the latest one. Then add into this modified result. Then just then put it back. That is output parameters. Uh, this one uh, into the collection. That's it. Then it will show the uh, the in, in this uh, forms. A subgrid it will show the latest modified result from the plugin so that's it so um i will uh
put this all, uh, scripts um, in the description of this video so you can just um, just for reference um, yeah uh, hopefully um, this uh, share could be helpful for you uh, if you have any questions just let me know thank you